I'm going to go through um, answers to the third quiz, quiz C. Um, there's a text file that you can browse to um, from the quiz page. There's a link now and from the home page there's a direct link to the text file and the way you read this is there's the question and there's a correct answer. It's not necessarily the only correct answer. Um, okay, so if you want to, you can pause and look at that, but I'm going to take you through question by question. All right, you'll see these in different orders um, on yours because they were randomized. So uh, type of operator that applies to two things is binary. So binary is two, and that's a that's a vocabulary word. So two is binary. Um, evaluating this expression, three is less than four. That's true. Four is greater than five is false. If you put them together, true and false is false. And so if you had the time, um, I don't really want you doing this um, on the quiz, but, uh, but you can. In the regular class setting, you wouldn't be able to, but you should definitely try it after the fact, at least, even if you didn't have time do, during, the, during the quiz. Um, give one line of Python code, so I was asking for one line. It's kind of hard to type it in here, but a Boolean expression that is within if the variable e, so I want to know is e at least 2.61828 and e needs to be at most 2.81828. Evaluating this expression, uh, those are strings. If you do plus on strings, you just put them together. Give one line of code to print the sum of these. Um, and for all of these, there could be slight variations that are correct. There are a couple different ways you could have done this one. On the ones that are strings, if you didn't put the quotes, I counted it as OK. Um, giving one line, if you gave two lines, that would be wrong because I asked for one line. Operator for testing if not equal is this. Evaluating this expression, 26. Evaluating this one. Okay, so we have an and and some ors, and you have to know that and is higher precedence. So it'll evaluate each side here first, and then or them. Okay, zero is less than or equal to zero is true. One is less than three, so that's true. And we don't even have to evaluate what's over here because we're going to have true for this part with an or. So it's going to be true altogether. This one here, 10 integer division. So integer division, you divide by 2. You divide by 4, which is 2. And 1 minus 2 is minus 1. chain of different conditions to check. Four letter word that is not else. Um, so that's conditions to check is if. And a chain of them, what I'm meaning is you could have a bunch of LFs cases to check a bunch of different conditions. Operator for Boolean OR is just OR in Python. Okay, we want to test if the variable grade is between 0 and 50. So we want to know, this is similar to the other question. So we want to know, is grade at least 0 and at most 50? If you put less than or greater than, that would be fine too. Uh, type of operator that applies to one thing. 2 was binary, 1 is unary. test if a variable color is red, green, or blue. So color is red, or color is green, or color is blue. I'm going to go back and 
well, we'll just do it right now. So if you said color is red or green or blue, that's wrong because the way Python works is in the things that are in between the ors, it's going to evaluate completely on its own. So it's going to check this and say, is that true or false in terms of a Boolean condition? So when Python's looking at this blue, it's not looking at the rest of it. What would you say if you had to decide, is that thing true or false? Generally in programming, the definition is if it's not zero, it's true. So this will evaluate to true. And this whole thing then, this will also evaluate to true. And it doesn't matter what color is, the whole thing would be true if that's what you wrote. Okay. Greater than, less than or equal to, Boolean negation is not. Testing if equal. So a uh, keyword that goes with if, I was trying to describe else here. You can decide whether that was a good description. Here we have to do the proper order of operations. This is going to happen first, exponentiation. That's uh, three squared is nine. Nine minus three is six, plus one is seven. Boolean and, and here you would be wrong if you wrote like this because if you try to do capital A and in Python, it doesn't, it doesn't work. So I could say false and true, that's okay. False and true, not valid syntax because capital A. Um, evaluating this, this is a string. Times two with a string does multiple copies. So it will do this. Checking a condition. Python keyword for checking a condition. If is the only thing it could have meant there. I'm evaluating this. Okay, so we've got two less than or equal to three. That's true. Three greater than or equal to four. That's not true. That's false. So we have true or false, which is true. Test if greater than or equal to. Um, so here I just wanted the quotes kind of confused people. Those weren't supposed to be there. That was a typo. But if I wanted to print each of these, I can do it like this. Um, some people thought that I meant I wanted you to literally print this because of the way the quotes were there. And so if you did that, it was okay as long as you didn't have a mistake doing it that way. All right, is the string three equal to the integer three? And that is no, so that'll be false. Um, and you know if there's an equal equal, then it's either going to be true or false. If you tried to say here, um, if you wrote the answer was like three or something like that, well, the result of equal equal is always going to be something that's true or false. Let's go through the rest of these. Um, so this one here, if we just had this part of the expression, that's going to be true or false because it's a less or equal to. So it's going to do both of those and then it's going to do an or and the result of an or is also always going to be true or false. So for these ones where they're just Boolean expressions, you got a 50-50 chance even if you just guess. But if you say something like 3 or 2 or 10 or something, you got a 0% chance. Think if there's anything else to say about what people did wrong. This one, a lot of people messed that up. So with your, with your Boolean conditions, you have to think that each individual thing is completely on its own. So Python it has the rest of this covered up when it's evaluating this to put in the or, it's just looking at that. Okay, so you have to think of it that way. 
Um, some people did um, this, which is making a list and checking if color is in the list. We haven't done that yet, but that's correct. And so I, I gave you credit for it. If you give something that's correct, but we just haven't done yet, that's fine. Um, also on this one, with checking between, you can actually do this, but I don't, I don't like to tell you that because most programming languages you can't do this, or it will give you something that you don't expect. So Python allows you to do this, but I wouldn't count on it in any other programming language. Most programming languages, you need to do two conditions here. You're checking if it's at least zero and also at most 50. Um, some people forgot that there's a that this here is integer division. And if you tried to think that you just do sum or something like that, that's not that's not true. If I say sum sum here, There's not a thing called, well, there is a thing called sum, but it doesn't work like that. Okay, and those answers should match what's over here. Um, check your answers to your quiz, which I think, I think you can do by going to your my grades and looking at the quiz um, so you can see how many points were given the red X's is what the auto grade did but then check the points so if there's something where you don't where you think you had the right answer then ask me or ask in matter most Okay, so that's it for the second quiz. This was different because I, I changed half of the questions, in particular the second two types of questions. Um, so that's a higher level of ability is something new. I'm gonna ask you something new, not just to memorize something I already told you. And also to evaluate, some of these were kind of tricky. They're supposed to be tricky um, and to give um, Python for something s just slightly different than than what you'd seen before and that's ultimately what we're looking for